Welcome back fellow gamers. I want to talk to you today about possibly like one of the funnest games to play with a group of friends. Uh, it is Wanted. <laughs> and you're gonna look at the cover and you'll be like, this is a kid's game. And you know what, it is. But it's still one of the funnest games that me and my friends have played. It's, <laughs> it's just, like I'm thinking back, I've got this big smile on my face because of all the stories that just come out of this game. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a card game. <laughs> and uh, you get these, these cards here. You look, the back is quite vanilla. Like it just says Ravensburg, which is the company that makes it. And on the front you have, you know, kid animations <laughs> of people doing their job. I'm missing the cop somewhere. Where'd the cop go? Cops fighting crime somewhere. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I really don't know where he went. Oh well. Uh, and what the point is, is you're dealt out the, the deck of cards by about how many number of people that you are. And then from there, you try to get rid of your deck the fastest. You be the first one to get rid of your deck and you win. Well, the way you get rid of your deck is you just play from the top of your of your deck and you put the card face up. Now that sounds pretty basic, right? But the thing about that is that, so you're gonna have these characters that do their jobs and they do them well. I found the cop, <laughs> he was hiding in the box. When you when you flip up the top card of your deck, if it's the, uh, the person that's doing their job, you have to do a specific action. So the banker has an action, the robber has an action, the cop has an action, and the judge has an action. Now, let's go show you exactly the cards themselves on the table. I'll, I'll show you how the cop is done and we'll come right back. All right, so these are pretty much the cards that make up the deck uh, that, you'll be, that you'll be playing with. And as you can see, there are the top row has cards that are legitimate, like the cop is doing his job, the robber, I guess you could call that a job, uh, banker and judge as well. And then the bottom row, you can see here how each one is not doing, you know, they're doing a role that belongs to somebody else. Although there, there can be a case made that the banker is doing his job. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so those are the two kinds of cards that make up the deck, the correct and the incorrect. And there's a lot of variations on these jobs. Like you won't only see the robber doing the cop's job, you'll see them doing something else. And then of course here you have the badge cards. You always have one less badge than players. It makes it so that... There's always that race to get there last. So you have these three cards in the middle of the table and make sure it's accessible everybody because that does make it a bit difficult. Obviously if you're playing like on a rectangular sized table, it might be a bit difficult, uh, but as soon as this card pops up, it's a rush for players to slam their hands down on an available card. The one who's not directly on a badge uh, will then have to pick up the rest of the stack. It's just that <laughs> that's the way it goes. Uh, one thing about, about doing the cop, the badge, whatever you want to call it, is uh, your hands can get hurt. <laughs> I had my my finger, my middle finger, pulled back all the way as we were all rushing. Uh, if you have any rings, please take rings off. Those do hurt, uh, but really it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is just one, we'll go through the other examples. So that's the cops. The badges are laying flat out on the table, as I mentioned. For the judge, when the judge comes up, you bang your hand and on the table and like a mallet and you yell guilty. The last one who does that has to pick up their cards. For the banker, you need to put your hand on the pile. The one That one's the easiest. The one who's actually on top uh, is the last one and they have to pick up the cards. You might be wondering, well, how does, and I, well, I forgot to mention the robber. The robber, the robber's <laughs> quite funny. You just shoot your hands up. Now watch out because if you have like a low hanging light, like a, a chandelier or something, you're gonna hit it. Uh, my parents have that and it's made of brass. It's a brass rim and it kills. So, so many people have smashed their hands up. I, I had a blue mark from smashing my hand up one time. But then you might be asking yourself, okay, well, if everybody has an action to do each time the card pops up, then what's the point of actually, how do you get the whole deck away? Well, you get the whole deck away because when there is a card where a person that's not doing their job pops up, you do not react. The one who does react gets the pile of cards. Now, if two people react, you divide the pile in two. So let's say it's the banker doing the robber thing and, and somebody goes like that, like just a move. They reacted, so they gotta go. So, and it becomes so micro within my play group. Like somebody who just goes like that with their hand, that's, that's a move, that's a reaction. You gotta pick up the pile. It, it's a lot of fun. As I mentioned, it's kind of dangerous sometimes when you're getting your hands and slapping them in there. 
Uh, another thing is when you do the judge and you slam it on the table, if you're living in an apartment, your downstairs neighbor is gonna hate you. So we had a variant where we just slapped our chest and said guilty. Uh, I do it so quick sometimes I end up slapping my hand <laughs> along my face. As I go here, I give myself a big smack. Uh, it's, it's a really fun game. It takes about like 10, 10 minutes to play. It's an inexpensive game and you will always want to play it. You'll never get bored of this game. I highly recommend you buy this game. It's, there's nothing to it. The rules are super easy. It's essentially what I just told you. And the replayability is just endless. It's fun. Uh, it's simple. Anybody of any age loves it. I haven't come across one person who does not enjoy this game. Pick it up. Now, if you're looking for other videos, you might want to check out these videos right here. Uh, you can also subscribe right here. And I'd like to thank you for watching the video. It really means a lot. And until next time, good gaming.